Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at the GPU Technology Conference in Silicon Valley, and I'm here with Ryan from NVIDIA. Ryan, we're here today to talk about containers. And, you know, when people have a workflow, they're kind of used to going on their merry way, running on bare metal. Why would I want to move to a container? There are so many reasons why you'd want to move to a container. Containers mm -hmm. just make life easy. Okay. They really do. So one of the things that people have issues with running bare metal is from time to time their libraries change. Maybe they want to try a new version of CUDA, a new version of CUDNN, uh, and they forget to like symlink it back to the original path. Uh, if you have packaged your app into a container, it's the same every time. Whatever's in the container is in the container. Okay. And I, when I thought of containers before, I thought it was just because we were moving to the cloud, but you, you do this locally as a first step, don't you? Absolutely, like you start local. Take the app that you're used to running bare metal and just move it into a container. That's it. Move it in the container, run it again, make sure it still works. As soon as you put it in the container, now you're ready to go to the cloud, you're ready to go off to a different developer. It doesn't matter. You can ship it anywhere you want after okay, that. Okay, so uh, you know it, it's not just about portability then, it's about reproducibility sounds like. Reproducibility is the name of the game. Yeah. Uh, when you build that container, it is like a time capsule. It is frozen in time, okay. and that that is you know, that's your fundamental reproducibility. Okay. And you know, we were talking earlier about you know you've basically turned Red Hat into kind of like a Mac. You just double click the app. It's like magic, isn't it? Uh, it's very much like magic. Uh, kind of the stuff that goes around the covers. There's a little bit of stuff getting used to on how you launch it, how you mm -hmm. get into it. But okay. once you get the hang of it. Yeah. Uh, it, it becomes very quite magical. Okay. Yes. So Ryan, from a user standpoint, how would I kick the tires on these containers? Well, the first thing that has to happen is you have to go to your sysadmin and make sure that you have an appropriate container runtime available on your system. Uh, so once that's in place, then the users are free to go to uh, NGC and download uh, the latest and greatest HPC containers from our NVIDIA GPU cloud registry. Uh, given that, you pull those containers and then follow the instructions and you, it's like I said earlier, it's kind of like magic. Well, you're off to the races. Thanks yep. for sharing that with us.